Hey, what's up, guys? And, you know, I usually don't do these type of things, uh, especially out of the blue, unless this is, like, breaking news. And given on what's going on right now, this is very shocking. I'm very shocked to hear about this, honestly, um, that Bray Wyatt has passed away at the age of 36 years old, uh, William Wyndham Rotunda. Um, honestly, I didn't even know about this till my friend just told me about this not that long ago. And I had to look it up to be sure. I was literally, I didn't know if this was even real or not, to be honest. And then once I looked it up, uh, Triple H was the one to break the news. Um, basically, I, uh, Bray Wyatt's uh, dad, Mike Rotunda, uh, I guess, ended up telling Triple H he got a call. Triple H got a call from him and saying that he unexpectedly passed away earlier today. And um, I, I got to say, man, I'm very, I'm very shocked to hear about this. Uh, 36 years old, man. That's a very young age. Um, very, very, um, very shocked to hear about it. Um, I, I just, I didn't really know what to think. Like, I was very surprised hearing this news. Um, and like, this was an out of nowhere type of thing. I'm sure a lot of other people feel the same way too, that they just, I'm like, they just shocked the gutter just didn't, you know, kind of wondering what happened. And I don't know what happened and I'm sure, you know, there will be, I'm sure that information will be out at a later date and whatnot. The only thing I kind of really remember, and I've talked with a few people about this, that I know they said Bray Wyatt was sick. I had heard he was sick not that long ago. Um, I think they said it was maybe a life, I don't know, it was a life-threatening disease or whatnot, but I knew he'd been sick. But then, you know, in recent times, I had been hearing he had been he was supposed to be coming back soon. His return was imminent. I had always been hearing some type of news about Bray Wyatt returning and I kind of figured, like, okay, he'll be back soon. Um, I'm not sure when. I probably would have thought SummerSlam, maybe, or maybe at some earlier or later date. But um, I'm like, there was art. Like I said, it was like it was news I was seeing. Bray Wyatt's going to be coming back. He's going to be coming back. And, you know, like I said, I've been hearing that for a minute. But now that I hear this, I'm, I'm very shocked. And listen, I'm not going to sit and say I'm the biggest Bray Wyatt fan. I'm, I, I wasn't, okay? And even, you know, with the recent gimmick, I wasn't the biggest fan of. I know people I know that liked it more than I do. I would say this. My favorite incarnation of him, I had liked the whole cult leader Bray Wyatt. Now, yeah, you can say that booking messed up that whole gimmick and they lost all the time, especially with the whole Wyatt family. And, man, I got to say, it's even more crazier now that two members of the Wyatt family um, have died now. Like, first it was Brody. And now it was Bray Wyatt, especially, shit, 36 years old. Like, Brody, I know, was a few years older than him. But, yeah, yeah, Bray, just 36 years old, you know, that's that's just a young age right there. And I think it's more shocking when it's someone that's a current active competitor in a wrestling company that you see on TV uh, almost every week and whatnot that could still go. Uh, it's not like, you know, the guy was past prime or a legend or icon, like way older and everything. This was a guy that was still here and still on TV. And like I said, my, my favorite car incarnation, I'll say that I liked of him. I always liked the promos with the cult leader, Bray White. I always thought it was interesting. And like I said before, you can say booking messed that up. And I've, I've made jokes about in on the show before about his booking and how, you know, saying, you know, show up on the screen, say you're a liar, and then, like, just lose almost every match. And, listen, I've, I've, listen, I've had debates about when it comes to the whole Fiend thing with people, how I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but I know people that were the biggest fans of it. Or even in his current return, when he returned back to the WWE um, back in October of last year, because let's remember, this man was released from the company in the summer of... um. I think it was 2021 he had got released. And it was with several other people, but he was like one of the most shocking people that was released within the company. But he ended up coming back. And, you know, when he was doing the whole Uncle Howdy thing, and I was trying to get interested in the whole gimmick again. I'm like, okay, it's going to be new. It's going to be different. It's not going to be like last time. I wasn't the biggest fan of Fiend. I wasn't really the biggest fan of that whole Firefly Funhouse stuff and whatnot. I've, I've already admitted that. Everybody knows how I've said that and whatnot. So I was willing to give this a chance, but you know how I feel about the whole Mountain Dew match back in January and where this was going to go, where it's going to be something new or it's going to be Bray Wyatt back to his old tricks. But then the, I believe the last time I really, I think anybody seen Bray Wyatt on TV I think it was like in February, uh, right before Elimination Chamber, and it was on SmackDown. That was like the last time I remember seeing Bray Wyatt on TV. 
when he was out there, it was him and Uncle Howdy, and they beat up Hit Row, and it was him calling out, like, you know, Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar and all that. And then kind of after, they were going to be doing a match, I guess, with, uh, you know, Bray Wyatt and Bobby Lashley. And Lashley was beating up The Fiend and stuff. But, um, you know, the match never ended up happening. And, you know, it just it just didn't happen. It ended up getting canceled. And then we just heard Bray Wyatt just had problems or he just left. or It was a lot of reports. I don't really remember them, so I don't want to get anything wrong right now. But Bray Wyatt had basically been out of the company for, like... Um, well, not out of the company, but just basically gone for like almost what six months. I think it's been since I believe the last time we saw him. It's August now, so let's see February, March, April, May, June, July. Yeah, about seven months. Um, he had been gone, and we had been hearing about um reports about several returns about him coming back. So, um, you know, I kind of it was expecting him to be back probably sooner or later. I didn't know when, but given what I've heard to like literally right now, um. I'm very shocked to hear about it. I think what's even crazier that it's been two wrestling depths in under 24 hours now. You know, first being Terry Funk and um, now Bray Wyatt. And I think what just makes this different is just like I said earlier, um, just given his age and him still being an active competitor that, you know, was still going and whatnot. Okay? Because we've seen stuff like this before when it comes to... Um, People that probably, you know, died maybe saying they're prime. We've seen it with Eddie. We've seen it with Owen Hart. Despite what you want to say about Benoit, like I said, we're still part of the current roster. Uh, hell, I could bring up Jay Briscoe back in January. Someone that was still going, uh, still in his prime and, and whatnot. And then, you know, just unfortunately, unexpectedly died from a horrible car accident that everybody was shocked to hear about and whatnot. And I don't know what happened with Bray Wyatt here. We don't know the cause of death. We don't know what happened. We just know he passed away early day. Like I said, I know I've been reports saying he was sick before, but then I, once I said when we hear reports he was coming back, I'm like, okay, he must be better now. He probably is coming back soon. But I don't, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know what to really say about this. Um, I'm very shocked. I know his friends. I know that were big fans of him. People I know, so I know it kind of hits them a little bit harder especially if they were that big of a fan and just loved his work, especially with him coming back with the whole White Rabbit thing and the clues. And trust me, I have a friend. Um, I, said, I say he was a big, definitely big Bray Wyatt fan and whatnot. So people love, like, the clues of him coming back and using the QR codes and stuff. A lot of people I knew, knew um, you know, they, they, did love, they did love that stuff. So, you know, Bray Wyatt, even though I, I wasn't the biggest fan of all of ideas, the dude was a pretty creative person. And like I said, he came up, with a lot of stuff on his own, okay? So he definitely had the idea. Some say he probably maybe um, would have done better with a lot of his a lot of his ideas in the horror, the horror department because he definitely had a knack for that and whatnot. But like I said, the last time I kind of heard, I know he had like a, I think the one of the new stories I remember hearing, what he had a Marvel writer that was there writing for him, but I think he ended up getting released in too. Uh, but, uh, you know, that was kind of like, Probably one of the last news stories I kind of heard about him. But, yeah, man, I'm very, I'm definitely very shocked to hear about this. This is, like, definitely out of nowhere. And I didn't even, I didn't know. It's not like I just looked up the news and found this out. Somebody told me this. And even I had to sit there and kind of have to take a pause for a minute. I'm like, I'm like what, you serious? So, you, you know, it's it's crazy. Like, it's, I didn't I didn't believe it till I read it. And given his age, I definitely was more shocked to hear about that, too. So it's definitely sad. Um, it's definitely tragic. Um, definitely, like I said, man, rest, rest in peace to Bray Wyatt. Condolences to him, you know, his family, friends, kids, um, everything. That's a that's a definite shocker right there, folks, man. That's, that's a definite shocker. But it's, you know, it's like a lot of other people said now, man, he's up there. He's up there with Brody now, man. He... He's definitely up there with him. So this is some very shocking news to hear about. I like this is very sad. Definitely definitely is very sad forty eight hours almost with wrestling. Very tragic and sad in the past forty eight hours. So yeah, man, that's all I really want to say right there. So um yeah, crazy. But other than that, I will see you guys later on and um yeah, I just had I just had to say something about that, uh given I just heard the news. But I'm out. See y'all then. Peace.